Hello everybody, Crips here and once again thanks for joining me. Now I've done three particle illusion tutorials thus far and I'm actually quite surprised the amount of emails I have received regarding particle illusion and they're not because uh, they're telling me how awesome I am because <laughs> we know all know that that I am, right? <laughs> no, what they're actually telling me is they're frustrated with two things. Now a particle illusion works with an AVI format and what they're telling me is that when they convert their file into an ABI format, the output uh, file becomes massive. A 4 megabyte file suddenly turns into a 400 megabyte file. And that becomes useless and it's difficult to work with uh, with any software, to be honest. So how, how do we go about uh, creating an ABI file that's uh, small? All right, and it's, you can do that quite simple, actually. Now, if you don't have the luxury of owning an Adobe Media Encoder, or you don't actually own any form of software that can convert files, uh, why don't you just use your uh, video editing software? And video editing softwares are actually quite good. And a lot of people don't realize this, but you can uh, file change in your video editing software. I'm rambling, aren't I? All right, so I'm, I'm using Corel Video Studio. Uh, and if you're using Sony or Adobe Premiere, they, the options are probably the same anyway. So first, uh, I'm going to drag my footage that I want to convert into my timeline. And uh, Once it's in the timeline, I'm going to try and uh, click share and then create my video. All right, so for me to use this into Particle Illusion, it must be an AVI file. So Customs, and I'm going to select AVI. So whatever program you're using, you need to select AVI. And then, uh, so obviously this is correct, so I press Save, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do this for you because why would you want to watch someone render out footage right that's pointless so let's just close this because I've taken the liberty of doing this already all right so here's the original file uh, it was 35 megabytes uh, now I've com uh, I've basically converted into an ABI file and let's have a look at this now holy cow it's 507 megabytes that's ridiculous. So a 35 megabyte file turns into a 507 megabyte, seven megabyte file, and this is where people are uh, writing me about and saying, "Oh, this is ridiculous." All right, I'm going to show you a really neat little trick. Oh, well, it's not really a little trick; it's just a little bit of knowledge. Let's go back into the customs, back right back to where we go. All right, so Microsoft AVI. Now, what a lot of people don't seem to realize is uh, Microsoft AVI is uncompressed so therefore when you render it out it becomes a mega huge file so you need to find AVI a compressed version so whatever software you're using it probably has that options so I'm going to use options AVI and I'm going to go and look at my compression so here we go uh, these are all the options to compress my AVI format and I'm going to use Microsoft Video One and I'm going to press OK. Again, I've already taken the liberty of doing this for you, so you don't have to sit there and watch me render out a video file. Let's go back. Let's grab uh, my file, properties, and here we go. Voila, 4.77 megabytes. It's the exact same file. I've compressed it into an AVI file, and but it's now become a 4.77 megabyte file. So as you can see, it's way, way smaller than uh, the original file, and it's definitely better than when I compressed, uh, used an AVI compressed, uncompressed file. Sorry about that. I seem to be talking too fast today, aren't I? Anyway, let's go. that's how we can solve that problem. Now, let's go back into Particle Illusion and tackle uh, problem number two. Number two is that they cannot, uh, well, they import the file and then they cannot see it. Uh, let's let's do that for a second. Let's uh, double click and import the file. All right, let's uh, grab this file. Okay, yes. Okay, so here we go. Where where is my file? If I use my uh, slider or my press play, it just doesn't appear. Okay, the reason for this is uh, Particle Illusion doesn't like to work uncompressed files, so don't use it. Do not use your uncompressed file. You'd be better off using your compressed file for two reasons. One, hey, it's a smaller file. Uh, another thing you could do as well, I forgot to tell you this, go to View, Preferences, OpenGL, and uncheck Do Not Use Texture RAM for Big Images. All right, That helps uh, greatly. But believe me, do not use uncompressed files. So let's go File, New, Yes. Did I save that? No. 
you. No, sorry about that. Let's do the same thing again, and let's grab that little file that I just converted. Okay, yes, yes, and voila, there it is. It immediately appears. And the reason for that is because it's a compressed file and a hell of a lot smaller. All right, people, uh, for those who are watching and those who sent me an email, I hope this helped you. And as always, thanks for watching.